Hi guys, I'm Mariam. Welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you my most updated contour, highlight, and baking routine, explaining each step as I go along. I hope this video helps you and answers some of your questions about baking and contouring. Remember to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social media platforms. And now, let's take off my makeup. I woke up like this. All right, shall we start at the beginning? Let's do it. I'm starting with my Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. I love this one, especially for the winter. It is super duper nourishing, so it also doubles as a moisturizer. So in case you're oily like me, you can skip moisturizing. I'm applying it all over with my fingertips and uh, also sort of warming up my skin for the foundation. Next is foundation application. I'm using this amazing stippling brush by Wayne Goss. Of course, it's listed and linked in the description box below. As always, I use this brush a lot for foundation because it's truly amazing. I really love it and it just gives the most awesome, flawless airbrush finish. My foundation is L'Oreal True Match, which is a great drugstore foundation. And my shade is W6, which is also JLo's shade. And it actually makes me a little giddy because she's like my number one girl crush ever. Anyway, my foundation technique with this brush is simple. Stipple it on onto the center of the face, AKA my problem areas, then buff it out towards the hairline, jawline, etc. Next is highlighter. I skipped color correction this time because I was having a good skin day when I filmed this. However, if you have dark circles, acne, or uneven skin tone, you may want to color correct and conceal before this step. I like to add it to the areas I want to pop, like the smile lines, because this technique actually makes them look fuller. Then I take a smaller stippling brush and blend the highlighter into the foundation. I'm using a buffing technique and basically just beating in the product. The liquid highlighter that I'm using here is by Motives Cosmetics. The shade is light medium with yellow undertones. And of course, it is linked down below. Time for the contour, darling. This is Motives Maven Sculpt Series Palette in Fire for warm skin tones. And a little known fact, I actually helped create this palette, so you know it's good. No, seriously, this is an amazing cream contouring palette. Link down below, of course, with a coupon code. Okay, so I'm applying the shade to all the areas I want to contour, aka recede, aka create the appearance of shadow. So along the hairline to slim my forehead, along the sides of my nose to make it straighter and slimmer, under the cheekbones to pop them out to obscene proportions because we like it like that. And then, of course, we blend it all out, baby. When blending the forehead, make sure to blend into the hairline, otherwise it will look too fake. Same thing with the jawline. Blend into the neck to avoid that mask look. You know which one. Blend the cheekbone contour up into the area where you would apply your blush and then blend it with the blush. Keep it gentle on the nose and blend the contour lines so that they're almost invisible. But be sure to keep the product concentrated along the sides of the nose. Otherwise, it may end up looking a little dirty. So be careful with that one. Okay, are you ready? Time to bake. Now, what is baking, might you ask? And what is all the fuss about? The baking method isn't something new, actually. It's been around for some time. It is a setting powder technique that helps your makeup stay on longer, your skin finish to appear more flawless and velvety. Plus, it also acts as a highlighting technique. All you need is some loose, translucent powder, which sometimes gets all over the place, but that's okay. And a brush or a beauty blender that you could use to apply the powder with. Notice that I'm applying the powder from the corner of my mouth towards the ear and along the edge of my cheekbone contour. This not only sets the foundation, but also gives more contrast to your contour, thus making the look more chiseled. Then I'm setting those smile lines to make them pop and connecting them to the previous step. The most common areas to bake are the T-zone, the porous areas, and between the brows. You can use any translucent powder. I'm using Dermablend because that's the one that works best for me. However, you can use Laura Mercier, banana powder, all of those are good choices. And now we cook. Allow the powder to sit and melt on your face for about five to 10 minutes, then gently whisk off the remaining powder with a big fluffy brush. And this is basically what the fuss is all about. This method is not for every day, but it's great for pictures or for those occasions where you need your makeup to last a little longer than usual. Plus, it's an oily skin's best friend. That's why I like it, though I definitely don't use it every day. 
To set the contour, I'm using L'Oreal Infallible Powder in shade 500 or uh, maybe 600. I'll list it down below. And I'm just applying it over those areas that I contoured with the cream product. Once I'm done with this step, I like to go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup. So voila, here we have it. And then I like to use my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Sculpt and Glow palette to further chisel out and add more dimension to my look. The contour shade in this palette is actually a cool tone, so it truly resembles shadow. It won't look like a bronzer. So I like to add it to my hairline, to the sides of my forehead, or wherever I feel like I need a little bit more chisel. Highlighting is the last thing I like to do, so you know this tutorial is coming to its close. This palette is everything though. I mean, can we just look at that glow? Can we appreciate it for a second? Love. For the nose highlight, I just like to use my pinky, basically just dot it on and boom, bam, voila. This look is now complete. I'm feeling super chiseled, sculpted, highlighted, and ready to take pics for you guys on my Instagram. The tutorial for this eye look is actually on my Instagram, so go check it out if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching, for subscribing, and for showing me your love. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I love you so much. Till next time. Mwah.